So here in the .n file, we declare the environment variable that are supported by our web app. And here we can use it in the code like env title and also in the HTML. And if I run the dev server, you can see that here I have a default title and default title here in the tab. All right, now let's uh, create an env dot local that we don't track with git and we set uh, the value to title local all right and here we have title local all right so up to here nothing new under the sun but now let's see let's add a full variable uh, let's declare a full variable and set the default to uh, foo all right now we can go here and have uh, the type definition right away so that's right here if we go we can see foo foo all right and let's go a step further and let's assume that uh, instead of having a hard-coded variable here we need to fetch some data or read a file uh, we can go here in the vid config plugin and define foo uh, i will just set a math random here all right all right, so here you can see that the foo is uh, computed dynamically. So this is great. Uh, and if I remove uh, foo here, I can see that uh, if I remove here and here, all right, I can see that uh, right away I got a type error here because the it detects that foo is not any more available of our app. Um, but the real selling point of vitenv is uh, to be able to define those variables not at build time, but at runtime. So if I go over to the readme here and uh, I just, let's build the Docker image. All right, and now let's run it with uh, an environment variable that will be set in uh, the container, in the Docker container. And we will see, set title to a title from a container. And so let's go. All right, and now let's navigate to our um, web app. And we can see here title from the container and container and uh, here and in the tab.